Hey guys, just wanted to uh, highlight some of the um, details in the dead scientists and microbiologists list just to give you an overview of what's going on. Here we have a guy who worked at uh, British Telecom Secret Research Centre, fell from a hotel window and he had expressed fears that his life was in danger. Another guy worked for Marconi, died from a 74 metre fall and the police reported a needle sized puncture wound on his left buttock but it was later dismissed as being a result of the fall. His friends confirmed there was no reason for him to commit suicide and at the time of his death he was in his last week of work with Marconi. This next one I find quite interesting. He died as a result of placing a ligature around his neck and tying the other end to a tree and then driving off in his car with the accelerator pedal jammed down. He'd spent the last night of his life in a rooming house and had paid for his accommodation in cash and was seen to have a bundle of high denomination banknotes in his possession. And while the police were told of the banknotes, no mention was made of them in, at the inquest and they were never found. The other guests at the accommodation worked at British Aerospace prior to working for Marconi and he also had worked at British Aerospace. Now mind you, the verdict on that was suicide. And this next guy worked for the Ministry of Defence. He was found with his feet bound plastic bag over his head and rope was tied around his body calling four times around his neck and the verdict was accident. Now I don't know about you but some of these don't sound like suicide or accident to me. Now this scientist who was engaged in uh, top secret work, worked for the Ministry of Defence, died by carbon monoxide poisoning. Again the verdict was accident. Another engineer with Marconi, hose pipe connected to his exhaust, another very similar theme. Another engineer with Marconi died from an overdose listed as suicide. Here we have another carbon monoxide poisoning and the police were baffled how he got into the position with his head parallel to the rear car bumper and his mouth in line with the exhaust pipe. Now this guy drowned the same day as Shani which we cover next and the verdict was misadventure. Shani worked for Microscope which was taken over by Marconi less than four weeks after her death. Drowned in 45 centimeters of water. She was found gagged with a noose around her neck. Her feet were also bound and her hands tied behind her back. And it was said that Warren had gagged herself, tied her feet with rope, then tied her hands behind her back and hobbled to the lake on stiletto heels to drown herself. Now that sounds quite plausible, doesn't it? Another engineer at Ministry of Defence, found with a plastic sack around his head, several feet of cling wrap around his face, and the method of death was almost identical to that of Richard Pugh some three months earlier. It was found to be uh, an accident. Of course, an accident. Now this guy worked for a sister company to Marconi and had a fatal uh, car accident where he had additional petrol cans sitting in the car. Another Marconi engineer with a hose pipe connected to his exhaust. A Plessy Defence Systems engineer found electrocuted in his, in his garden shed with wires connected to his body. In the same month, assistant marketing director with Marconi was found with electrical leads in his mouth. In the same month. Here we have British Aerospace Engineering Manager, carbon monoxide poisoning, suicide. Now, Dr. David Kelly, many of you may be familiar with uh, this case. If you have a look on the internet, do some research. There's lots of information on this. Very suspicious circumstances. Biological Warfare Weapon Specialist held a senior post with the Ministry of Defence. He was head of microbiology at Porton Down. He was found dead after apparently slashing his wrists in a wooded area near his home. If you look into the case, you'll find testimony to the fact that it was actually impossible for him to slash his own wrists and die in the manner stated. There also seems to be very high level cover-ups on this case. There's also a large number of heart attacks listed as a cause of death in this list and later in this PDF they do talk about how this can be done without any trace. Thanks to Mark Harper and Rents.com for compiling the information contained here and the PDF can be downloaded from either Rents.com or my website.